How many Christian convert to Islam every year? Or how many Muslim convert to? Actually, Islam actually, I'm helping Christians who are, have left Muslim families Despite right now. Right now, I'm helping Christians. I'd like to try how, how? if it's possible. Uh, are, you, are you a Christian or what? We had you? a discussion. You don't remember me. I'm sorry, I bro. That much, have I? No, I, I, I you're familiar. Over there. Uh, you're familiar. Yeah, where, where, where's the, your um, perspective coming from, bro? Well, no, I just wanted to discuss with you. Remember, we had the discussion over there about the I don't, but go on. Islamic slave trade. Yeah. You know, we spoke oh, about yes. Hadith. Yes. Yeah, I know I look very different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. going a bit bold. Yeah, I, I remember. Go yeah, on. I'm getting bold. Go on. Yeah, so um, you were making a good point, and I was just speaking of the. Oh, Could you stick that in the back, please? Go on. I was speaking of a Pakistani guy, and I had a great interest in researching some of the stories of a lot of the ex Muslims, especially in the Middle East. Yeah. There is many Pakistani people leaving this religion. Yeah. Most Iranians are not Muslims. They yeah. don't believe in this religion. Yeah. Some are atheists, but a lot are becoming Christian. Yeah. Um, there's even some other people here. There, there, yeah, there are ex-Muslim Christians Muslims here in this park. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're from the Middle East. So it's very interesting because this is the region of the world where this religion has started. So we keep on hearing about many people leaving Christianity to become yeah. Muslim. Yeah. But there's also many Muslims leaving to become Christian. Christian. Yeah. So that's very interesting. What's your take on that? So, so my take on it is when a Muslim makes the boast that there's lots of Christians becoming Muslims, um, it is a boast to try and demotivate us. It's a boast yes. to try and make us feel, oh, we're losing. But the reality is, if you look at Pew Research, Christianity is still a growing religion. It's, yes, growing, yes, sir. it's yes. growing in track with world population at 35%. Yes. So Christianity, according to the research, is still a growing religion. And when Muslims say... You're, you're helping to grow yeah, it. Yeah. Yes, I, I am. I really am. And, and when, thanks be to God, and when Muslims make this boast, they're often actually demonstrating their own ignorance because a lot of their attitude is if you're white, you must be Christian. So if you become Muslim and you're white, then you must be a Christian and become uh, Muslim. That's not true. Most English people aren't even Christian. That's true. I am not denying that a lot of people are becoming Muslim. Yeah, yes. I, there's, the evidence shows that that is true. Yeah. Um, but Islamic growth is bo boosted primarily through childbirth. But, oh, and I'm going to land, yeah. I'm going to land. But the reality is, there is reverse traffic. I am helping right now multiple Christians who have come from Muslim families. One from Palestine. Oh, wow. One Palestine. from, yes, one from wow. Palestine. One from a, a sort of Pakistani Asian subcontinent. Yeah, like, and, and there are others that I'm aware of. There's many here in this park. Yeah, I was just right? speaking with one. Yeah, one, one just got baptized this Easter. A, oh, wow. a Christian who comes to this park from a Muslim family. But the truth is, when a Muslim becomes a Christian, they are sacrificing everything. A lot. And so the quality of a convert from Islam to Christianity is much better than a quality of a Christian who becomes a Muslim. Because there's nothing to gain in social status and you only collect a whole lot of problems if you're a Muslim who becomes a Christian. So, yes, if you're from a Middle East. And yet, and yet Muslims are still being inspired to become Christians. And I know it yes, because I wrong. get their messages in my inbox all the time. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. Um, you see, I was doing some research last night. Another thing I want to bring up. Some people have this belief that 99.9 .9 or 100 percent of Somali people are Muslim. It's That's not true. not true. That's not, not true. true. Yeah. I was watching a Christian Somali channel. Yeah. And there's some atheist Somalis as well. Yeah. Um, the research that I'm finding out in general is that there are 13 countries that claim to be that are Muslim, where they hold the apostasy laws. Yeah. And the apostasy law is death. Yes. Right. Now, for me, I'm, you could call me human rights activist, whatever. Yeah. How can you want to threaten or kill someone for a choice that they make to follow a belief? Yeah. Is this not between the individual and the creator to make that right. choice? Right. So, so let, let, let's, let, let's discuss that because there's a lot of points to make. The criticism that, uh, that of the Islamic apostasy laws is that it is moving us backwards. In the Old Testament, there were apostasy laws for Israelites. 
But as Christians, we believe in an old covenant and a new covenant. And the idea is that we are meant to move forward into the new covenant. And in the new covenant, there is no apostasy law, right? But the problem with apostasy laws is they encourage hypocrisy. They encourage people to pretend to be something that they're not. They also imprison people. Yes. And also, it, it actually show, it demonstrates an internal contradiction with Islamic teachings. Because the Quran says, the Quran says that, that there should be no compulsion in religion. But the Hadith say, if someone chooses a religion other than Islam, you should kill them. Yes. And there are millions of people who don't want to practice Islam that are being forced, forced to it. practice Islam because they are scared of being killed. Yes. But there's a hypocrisy amongst liberals. Because if you say to people, if you say to liberal society and progressives and left-wingers, if you say to them, hey, do you think it's wrong to kill people for choosing a religion? They'll say no. Then if you say to them, will you oppose Islam that teaches we should kill people for choosing a religion? They'll still say no. So in other words, they condemn killing people for choosing a religion, but they won't combat a religion that teaches killing people for uh, 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 practicing the thing that they condemn. And it's cowardice. It is the cowardice of comfortable white middle class people that don't want to confront an evil ideology because they're weak and afraid. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very interesting because I know a Pakistani and he was at the mosque celebrating Eid. He's not a Muslim. Yeah. He's celebrating Eid though. Yeah. There was um, this guy that I watched, he's a doctor, a Muslim yeah. doctor. He said that there are people going to the mosque who are not Muslim. Yeah. Some is questioning their sexuality. Um, some are leading prayer yeah. as an imam, and they're not Muslims. Yeah. But they've confided secretly in him because he doesn't judge people. And this was a Muslim that said this. Yeah. You know, so we have to really ask questions and say that there's something there which is problematic, where people are so afraid and scared that they cannot leave, they're still going to the mosque and they're not a Muslim. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Well, exactly. So we need to, we need a government that is not frightened to tackle this thing. It's happening in the UK. Yes. I know people who there have been death attempts on their life because they became Christians. Nisa Hussein, the family of Nisa Hussein. Go and look him up. You can find Iranian? his story on YouTube. No, he's Pakistani, Pakistan. right? He was driven out from Bradford because of Muslim intolerance. The government did nothing because our government is liberal and liberals can't bring themselves to tackle this problem. Because in their multicultural worldview, Islam is a color and ethnicity and you can't, you can't be seen to be racist. So the, the point is the liberal elites are petrified to tackle this problem. We need a government that is willing to go after the thugs of Islam and he's willing to defend the rights of Muslims to leave Islam. You saw that story, that, that YouTube clip, I'm sure, where a guy, uh, a non-Muslim was eating a meal yes, in a canteen, over there, right? Yeah. And he was, he was being harassed, yeah, heckled, right? Yeah. That should not be allowed to happen. Yeah, microaggressions. Yeah, it's microaggressions and, and we should tackle it. Those people that did that to that guy should all lose their jobs, right? And if it was up to me, they wouldn't be allowed to claim benefits. And if they weren't born here, they'd be deported. We need. Oh, you're saying just like. Get that. rid of them. We, we, do you not get like rid a, of them. Do you like, not think like a warning or something? No, just get rid of them. Like oh, because you're saying you had enough of this. Uh, like we, it is bullshit, and it's time we all call it as bullshit. And it is time that we have a government that that is willing to stand up to this BS. Well, yeah, it's, it's bullying. It's uh, microaggression. It's not just my. There was that other clip of that black Christian lady that was eating her meal. And a Muslim guy was filming her while he was harassing her for eating on a bus. On the bus, yes. I yes. Saw it, yes. Now, good for her. She stood yeah, up Jamaican, for herself. Yeah. Cause you know Jamaican yeah, fire, Indians Caribbean games, fire, right? Like we don't play games. they eat spicy food. They're yeah, spicy. Yeah. It's great, <laughs> yeah, that's right? It. You know? But the point is, yeah. the point is, yeah, yeah, yeah. that should never have happened. Yeah. That guy needs to be found. Like he needs to be investigated to see if he is sympathetic to other Islamist opinions and, and ideas. Probably. We've got a problem in our society that we keep tolerating Islamist ideology mm. and we need to say no more.
Okay. Right? And, and you're not going to get that from a liberal. You're not going to get that from a fancy pants, middle class, Islington, I want to virtue signal how tolerant I am yeah. at my dinner party kind of person. Kind of like a pick me kind you of. You've got to choose a different ideology. And that ideology is a muscular Christianity. We Christians have dealt with Islamists before. We know how to beat them. We have beaten them before. No, you, you haven't. I've seen you here. You have not lost a debate. I've seen you. I said it to you three weeks ago. I have not seen you lose one debate. Well, and we had debated all of them. Today, we had two Islamist dogs that tried to intimidate one of the Christian women here in the park. Yeah, why do they? A lot of these dudes like they do it. Women. They do it because what, what's, they what's do that it. All about? They do it because their mindset is to dominate. Yeah, like what's on it? Hatun Tash. They tried to kill they, her. Yes. They tried to murder. Her. Yeah. Just because she doesn't agree with the ideology. Exactly. Is she not allowed to make her own choice? So the question is, bro, on? what do we do about that? Do we continue to do what the liberals do and pretend we haven't got a problem and talk about the dangers of the alt right? And by the way, I'm against the alt right as well. But I am at least intelligent enough to recognize that the alt right is not a threat, it's not a bigger danger than the Islamist. Mm. MI5 has said that 90% of all the cases that they are tracking at this moment in time are Islamist threats, mm. right? 10% come from the alt-right. So the alt-right is a threat, is a threat, but it is not as big a threat as the Islamist. But our governments, because of their liberal ideology, they can't think like a sensible person. They have to try to be fair to all religions yeah. because all religions can be as bad. All groups can be as bad. Are they? Dis well, exactly. They're not. They're not. Different groups have different problems. D different, yeah. There's different levels. Um, and so we need to address the thuggish Islamist element of Islam and we need to confront it yeah. with strength and intolerance and with a determination to eradicate it. Yeah. Well, eradicate it or them? It. Doesn't sound, doesn't sound much like it. Well, I'm not it a snowflake like and I'm quite able to say what I mean. Yeah, but and I don't believe in that whole subjective idea of you get to reinterpret what I say. So what if I said so it, bad? I meant it. Yeah, but I do that so bad? Do you think slavery is bad? Of course. Well, Islamic ideology permits slavery. Yeah. Where? I've read it in the... Yes, Africa. Sudan. Yes, in the Muslim Mauritania. world, you can buy a black slave. Oh, that's yeah. not here, but... It is in the Islamic world. Lots of things are going on on planet Earth Bec that we don't agree with. Do you, so you know. do you think that we should oppose the Islamic slave trade? So what are you saying? You're going to go in vain? Do you, no, I'm agree? asking you a question. Do you think, since we both agree that slavery is bad, Definitely. do you agree that we should both oppose the Islamic slave trade? I don't really see an Islamic slave trade. That's they're, the they're, liberal. No, no, that's the cognitive this. dissonance that's right there. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, cognitive dissonance. So the boys of right, Shein, the ocean, you can go to Mauritania. Yeah. You can buy You a should black. listen to this. You can it go to more scripted. It's, it's, it's not, not I've done my research with all the There you go. That's the liberal. They yeah, obfuscate about the problem. They ob I no, I've, I've done my research. No, no, it's respect. obfuscating. You're obfuscating. You said, oh, well, you've got, never lost you're, the debate. You're obfuscating, bro. I've watched his debates. He's you're obfuscating. I've watched That's his 10, opinion. 10 to 15 of his debates. Yeah. And he's never lost. I've watched for hours. Yeah. And he's never lost. He hasn't lost a debate. Ali Dow and other guys won't debate him. He's not a Christian. I'm not a Christian. I'm not a Christian. Right, but here's the problem for you, is you just said slavery is bad. I just pointed out where yeah, slavery is happening, it. but you won't oppose yeah, it. Won't oppose you're, you're making that as if loads of ships are crossing the ocean with people in chains. I mean, I'm not. There's sure loads of people in. Happy. There's there's Maybe loads the of people in slavery. In, uh, yeah, yeah we need to oppose okay, it there okay, as well. Um, Go on. It is right. So in in Mauritania. Go on. They're estimating around 20% of the population is in slavery. I have watched the videos with people in chains. Yes in Mauritania, Mali, Chad, Sudan, Nigeria, yes, North also Nigeria, Libya, Libya, yes, you could openly buy a black, Algeria, slave. you why could openly buy a black yeah. slave there the for 200 to yes. 400 dollars, yes, you can openly go and buy a black yes. slave there, so we know this, yes, the other thing so, is, so let's, let's no move on, that. let's move, okay, let's, let's be that. honest, I, I, I'll, I'll debate you sir in a second, we need to stop doing this thing, where we're trying to blame everything on the white man, right? The reality is, in these books, the Hadith, which um, is Persian, yeah. right, who's not white, yeah. it's allowing the slavery, you're seeing two blacks were sold to redeem an Arab. Yes. We need to stop making this, that is the we white man. We have to stop making they, excuses. Yeah, they have practiced this slave trade for 1400 years. Yes. Right? 
They Brother, didn't take you're, you're, preaching, like... you're preaching to the choir right now. Yeah, so so my, my point to you is, yeah. I agree with you. Oh, no, no. Yeah, right? I was just showing the so, point. so we now need to think, and this is where liberalism fails and Christianity succeeds. Because where, as we have just seen demonstrated, the liberal wants to obfuscate and wants to try to distract from the issue, yeah. a Christian has no problem in saying that we should uh, intervene and stop the slavery of the cartels and we should intervene and stop the slavery of the Islamic world. But the problem is, if you oppose Islamic teaching, do you think the Muslims are just going to give it up? No, of course not. Exactly. And this, is, and this is why the liberals fail. Because nice, comfortable liberals in their nice middle class homes with their nice middle class jobs, and most of them are white, they can't deal with conflict. So you're saying they're scared? They are. They're cowards. They are shitting themselves. <laughs> okay. They are literally have brown stains in their pants and they are all lily-livered, jelly-spined cowards. Okay. Because they'll say across the dining room table, slavery is an horrendous affront to human rights. But they and then you there. say, well, here, Islam permits slavery. And they'll go, but we've got to be tolerant of Islamic culture. <laughs> and that's you, cognitive dissonance yes, at its worst. Can, like. can, can you bring up the hadith? Would you be able to check it on your phone of whether two blacks were traded? We both know that Hadith is there. What's the point? No, no, I want you to bring up because he's not believing. I'm not interested. Said. I'll talk to him separately. What is your conversation no, no, with no, no. me? Yeah, so I'm agreeing on that. What I want to know is... Because um, the thing is, if, if we start doing script, if we start actually doing some kind of theatre, oh, you're like you're loo then, then actually his point becomes true. Oh, okay. We started having a real conversation, yeah, yeah. let's keep it a real yeah, conversation. It don't, don't do something just because he's listening, keep yeah. to the conversation you want to have. Otherwise, That's he's making a right... Yeah. Well, he is. Question. I mean, yeah, yeah. okay, so like. continue with the conversation yeah. you want to have. So, yeah, like, you know, I'm just very interested in this and, you know, like, a lot of people who's leaving from that religion and becoming either Christians yep. or becoming atheists and stuff. And what do you think is like can be done to help those people? Great question. Because a lot of people are being great question. And yeah, great question. So the the first thing is the the first thing is the, the the church needs to get in shape. So right now, I am trying to help a Christian who's been forced out of his family home. He's been made homeless, right? And and. A, a lot of Christians uh, are, are not there to support him, mm. right? He's, he's homeless and, and now as Christians, we've got to figure out how to get him home. Christians need to organize themselves so that we have the facilities in place so that when a Christian gets kicked out of his Muslim house, he has a home to go to, right? And the problem with a lot of Christians is they don't want to get their hands dirty. They always like, they're yeah, passing the potato, yeah. right? Again, it's the middle class syndrome it is, yeah. because a lot of Christians are middle class and they don't want conflict. So it's like, I want someone else to do it, but I don't want to do it myself. So as Christians, we need to get our own house in order and we need to be in a place to support Muslims who have become Christian. That means finding them a home. It means finding them wives and husbands. Like I've helped a Christian sister find a husband and now she's going to get married. Right? She's from a Muslim background. That would normally have been done by her family. We have to do that. We've got to help them find jobs because normally their own Muslim community would help them find jobs. If they've been excluded from the Muslim community, then we Christians need to help them find jobs. But we also need, as well as a, a, a church uh, reaction, we also need the kind of government that will act from the top. Okay. It must become a police priority to protect Muslims who leave Islam, oh, right? And that's irrespective of what religion they choose. Yes, irrespective. it's irrespective. Oh. If a Muslim becomes Christian or wants to just leave Islam, the state should protect them. Protect them yeah. And anyone that threatens them, harasses them or challenges them in any way, other than an intellectual debate, obviously, mm. but any kind of harassment, alarm or distress should be tackled. And it should be tackled by the state but right now, as the example of Nisar Hussein demonstrates, the state is looking the other way. Yeah. And he's doing it because it's frightened of a conflict with a wider Muslim community. 
The liberal establishment knows that if it starts challenging these Muslim gangs, it's going to get embroiled in a wider fraction with the Muslim community. We need a government that's not frightened to do that. But we've got governments that are frightened to do that. Well, would you say, though, or agree, though, that a lot of Muslims in general are quite tolerant, though, and then there's some which take it to higher extremes? Would yes, you agree on that? absolutely. The minority of Muslims that actually ap apply Islam fully is a tiny minority. Small minority. Small minority. But as I showed in, I, I did a talk earlier today about the Henry Jackson Society and its survey, nearly over 50% of Muslims want to impose Sharia law. That's dangerous. That is dangerous to you. It's dangerous to me. And, and we as Christians shouldn't be passive in resisting that. We should resist it culturally. We should resist it politically. We should resist it socially. And we should resist it economically. So is, is, is not Shari Sharia is permitting slavery, sex slavery and child marriage? Those are all included in Sharia law, but it yeah, does a lot of other stuff. This. Of course. Yeah, like that, yeah. that, that's staying the obvious, yeah. right? Like, but, but the point is the liberals, they'll say I'm against child marriage, but they won't say that they're against Sharia law. They'll say that they're against slavery, but they won't say they're against Sharia law. As a Christian, I don't have the liberals problem. I can think straight. I can say I'm against it, and I can say that I am against it in any group that embodies it. So I can say that I'm against racism. Oh, you're setting up a Nazi party, are you? Well, I'm against you. You're part of the Ku Klux Klan, are you? Well, I'm against you. Well, the same logic applies. Same if someone says they're in favor of child marriage or slavery or reducing Christians to second class citizens, but I can say, I can country, say, I, I can say that I'm the against them. And by being against them, if Islam teaches those things, then I can say I'm against Islam. I'm against Sharia law. Why, why so you're kind of calling it out for what it is. Then? Mm. Okay, I'm not it's like... It's issue going going around about yeah now 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 the point is right some people want us to think of in, in, in terms of this question about it's a non-issue right they want us to say well it's not happening tell that to Nisar Hussein who had to flee Bradford because the Muslims tried to kill him tell that to my friend who was made homeless because her family wouldn't accept that she wanted to be Christian. Tell that to my brother who's here in the park, whose family and his community have basically driven him out of a city here in the UK. So this idea that it doesn't happen is a lie of the liberals. And we should not listen to their lies. And we should call them out on their cowardice that they don't want to deal with it. There's forced conversions happening in British prisons. In the prisons yes. Forced conversions. False. Forced conversions are happening in, in Britain. Yes, I've heard Has this. Yes. yes, and that's been reported by the government itself. The government itself is saying that there are forced conversions happening in prisons. So it is happening in the UK. So it is something that we deal with. And notice how the Liberals always want to try and diminish it. They always want to talk about something else. They always want to try and ignore it. That is the disease of liberalism that we must reject. We must reject this disease of liberalism. God. Even, even some Muslims agree that it's happening. Yes. Even some Muslims in the prisons have agreed it's happening. Yes. So there's no need to deny it. The evidence is there if people are willing to look. But the media, but the media don't want to focus on it. And that brings us to another issue which is connected to the whole of this. You want to send an army the British, the British media, the British media are a village of people. They're a town's worth of people. Maybe about 2,500, right? They are all on the same page. And they act as a shepherd about our perspective. They focus you in on what they want you to think is an issue, whilst ignoring things that they don't want you to think are issues. We have to reject the influence of the media over our perspective. You owe it to yourselves to educate yourselves, to educate yourselves about what is happening around these questions, so that you aren't a sheep bleating out the narratives of the liberals like you're all hearing right now. The, chef, the, the sheeple of British society only think it's an issue if the BBC says it is. You've got to free yourself 
from this yeah, problem. How do you go about dealing go on, with you, it? Go on, you, you want... Yeah. Well, you're losing this sleep over this. this. this how do you go about dealing with it? <laughs> you know, I'm going to let someone else right. speak. It was a good convo. Can I'll I give you a gift? Yeah. Um, I took your other gift. Did you read it? Um, I haven't read it as of yet. Okay, have a read, come back to me. I'm going to read it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're an atheist or what? We had this conversation oh, right, right, the last time. We had right. it the last time. Okay, yeah. we'll I'm come back to I'm not an atheist. I believe right. in the Creator, so I'm not okay. an atheist. Well, I mean, I, I would say to you that the Creator has revealed Himself through our Lord Jesus Christ. I know you said that over there. Yes. Yeah. When you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Nice Look one, after man. yourself.